Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Trend Trader with a quick update on Bitcoin. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you it's not financial advice, I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile, so please do your own research and trade responsibly. Alright, so we just got a little sell-off and drop down below 10,000. And, uh, you know, I'm seeing something here. I just want to walk back through a couple key FIB levels and just make sure everybody keeps uh, things in perspective. Um, because people are so bullish right now and... Uh, you know, I'm still just, I'm just not convinced. And that's got to be just the skeptic in me or the person just playing it safe, whatever. But, you know, maybe you'll feel the same way after this video. So uh, we're just going to walk through a couple of uh, key FIB levels and uh, just kind of draw this uh, draw this chart to together today. So um, we're going to come down here uh, to the low uh, at 150. And we're going to draw our first FIB uh, all the way up to the high around uh, like 20,000 there, okay? And that one's going to be in blue. And you'll notice very clearly that after we sold off, we came down and found support at the 236. And then we capitulated, we came down to the 382. All right. And then we got the bounce up, came back down, found support on the 236. And then we got our move up now. Okay. So that's very clear. Um, you know, if you disagree with any of that, you know, you might as well not even be watching this video because you're, you're missing like key principles. So going from that now, if we take the bottom, and I'm going to just move this blue one over here. Uh, out of the way and then we're gonna do the next one in yellow it's gonna be from the top here at 20,000 to the bottom at uh, 3,000 here okay and you'll see that we moved up and we made it all the way up to the 786 and then we sold off came down to the 0.5 bounced up to the 618 found resistance came back down below the 5 to the 382 exactly and again you know that's very clear on here you can see very clear interactions on the weekly time frame which is you know significant time frame so now we bounced up here we made it above the 618 and then we sold off here we just retested that 618 so we're just trying to find support now back in this zone in that descending triangle that we were in forever when we broke down retested got rejected we crept all the way back up and now we're just trying to find support in that zone and if we don't this is going to happen again this exact same thing is going to happen again if we don't if we do We'll probably consolidate here and then move up and then the next thing we would do is test the 786. So that means 13,184 is our next target to the upside. And that means that 7,881 is our next target to the downside. Okay. So that's our basic FIB levels from there. Now let's draw our next one. So that's going to be for this move here up to our top. And you can use the wicks for these, or you can use the the bodies, whatever you want to do. I'm not trying to overcomplicate things. I'm just trying to keep it simple for this. So now you can see for the move up here again, we went all the way to the top. And when we sold off here, we came down to the 0.5 in green. And then we bounced up. First, we hit the 382, bounced back to the 236. And then we came to the 0.5. And again, undeniable on the weekly. So when we bounce off this 0.5 here, we consolidated, bust through the 382, and then we got the move up to the 236, which again, lines up perfect with the 618. That's where we're finding support now. So again, based on this, if we come down here, that's going to line up perfectly with the 0.5, okay? And then this pretty much lines up up here too. So we can see our next targets are very likely going to be one of those two points. So we're at a key pivot in the market and, you know, essentially can manage risk off of this area very easily, okay? So we made it all the way up to here. Let's keep doing this. Let's keep fibbing this thing and let's see what happens. Okay. So it's just going to keep getting crazier though. So if you're just tuning in, you might be in trouble. So this one's going to orange now. So now let's look at this orange one. So we sold off to the bottom here. Okay. And when we got the bounce, we came all the way back to what? The 618, which was the 618 lined up perfectly with that previous resistance right here. So we came up to the 618. So when we sell off from the 618, what's likely to happen there? We're going to come down two FIB levels, probably back down to either the 382 or if it's a powerful sell off, the 236. And where is that going to put us at? Right here in the middle of nowhere at 8600 or again lining up another time right down here at that 7800 range. So I mean that thing is just becoming like more and more clearly like a potential area for us. All right. So we got all the way up to that and now, you know, essentially we can't quite fib this yet because we don't know if that's going to be like swing high or swing low let yet. Um, but I, I want to add in just a couple more things here um, and, uh, you know, just make this a little bit more complicated yet. <clears throat> so we can see obviously, uh, you know, from the low down here going up to the top, you know, we're just going to put our regular uh, trend line in. And this was basically like the trend line that we have been 
basing off of this whole time and you can see like very clearly obviously you know we've been finding support on it we ducked under it that one time came back down ducked under it ducked under it but that's our main support line and then here on the weekly as well this is our main resistance line right here so going from the top here if we go from the bodies right there we're gonna go across and you'll notice we basically got above that resistance line and then when we just came down here we sold and we're finding support on it so again what I think is gonna happen is if we can continue to find support here then we'll bounce we'll get that move up like we talked about and potentially get like that 13,000 area but if we get rejected here and we can't maintain above this and we sell back off what would we expect to happen come down here to that long time support area and the bottom of this little triangle that we're formed and kind of wedged in here and that's going to put us right there around the same area like the high 7000s uh low 8000s so you know don't don't zoom in here too much don't lose um you know sight of where we're at here uh because you know it's easy to just do like an extra little move up here and have like a little week of continuation or whatever and psych people out and everything and get people to go all in and long and essentially like long the top and then we sell back off here and get like that main retracement but just look at where the confluence is and where this is all lining up and everything and uh you know i think it'll be very clear to you uh, you know that we may be in danger here potentially in the near future uh, that we need to be like you know paying attention to that and uh, you know if we look at like the weekly and everything it still looks good um, on our indicators and then switching over to uh, the daily you know we did get the sell signal hard sell at the top right here uh, so we'll see what happens in this situation um, we're still uh, honestly uh, curled to the upside on the indicators for now but again they are lagging so uh, we don't expect them to like tell us ahead of time necessarily but what we're looking to see what happens is something like this where we essentially like couldn't find support after the breakout and then it sold back off and it would be like violent continuation so it's not just going to happen like in one candle but you know we're looking for like a key fib retracement and that's where like this zone right here you see how all this is lining up in one area you know that's a likely area that we're gonna come down and test you know we will see reactions off some of these other areas but when you see a bunch of the fibs lining up like this and you start getting like that thick line all in one spot that's how you know like that's a strong support area or strong resistance area um, you know and look for like direct interaction between those areas so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make this chart with the indicators and everything uh, public in the description so if you want to use this add on to it uh, or actually just use it I don't think you can modify it but uh, you're more than welcome to uh, do so and the indicators will be available as well uh, and this is not financial advice I'm not your financial advisor these markets are extremely volatile so please do your own research and trade responsibly uh, crypto trend trader and uh, be careful because it's starting to look like uh, we're gonna get that continuation now um, to the downside as we're starting to lose like key levels and uh, potentially retest like some of these uh, key Fibonacci zones so um, protect your capital and uh, don't jump into any uh, like FOMO trades you know be responsible in this situation and uh, you know remember that Dollar cost averaging not always the best idea in a downtrend, but dollar cost averaging in an uptrend is, you know, not necessarily a bad strategy. Uh, you know, so just be mindful of some of these things. You know, don't just like throw everything in the pot because you got one indicator that says we're in a bull trend or, you know, one influencer or, uh, you know, whatever says like this is it. Uh, we're going to new highs. Um, be very careful in these situations. Uh, because you know what people say they're doing versus what they're actually doing is not always the same thing one and you know two just because you know somebody is on TV doesn't mean that uh, they know what they're doing so crypto trend trader and I'm signing off